Here is a list of the 10 largest non-dinosaurian reptiles of the Mesozoic era, the time on Earth more well known as the age of the dinosaurs. So let's get to it. Let's start at number 10, the Archelon. An extinct genus of sea turtle that lived approximately 80 to 70 million years ago, it is one of the largest turtles ever existed, with an estimated length of up to 4.5 meters or 15 feet, and a weight of up to 2.2 tons. Archelon had a flattened, streamlined shell that helped it to swim quickly through the water. Its limbs were modified into powerful flippers, and it had a long, pointed beak that it uses to catch its prey, which likely included jellyfish, crustaceans, and other small marine animals. Despite its enormous size, it was still vulnerable to predators such as sharks and mosasaurs. Number 9. Razanan Drangobe this is an extinct genus of crocodiliform that lived during the Middle Jurassic period approximately 167 to 164 million years ago. It was first discovered in Madagascar in the early part of the 21st century. Razanandran gobe was a large predator estimated to have been around 7 meters or 23 feet in length and weighing a ton. It had a long, deep snout with numerous sharp teeth, suggesting that it fed on a variety of prey including fish, turtles and dinosaurs. The discovery of Razanandron gobe is significant because it represents one of the earliest known crocodiliforms from the Jurassic period. Number 8. We have the Quetzalcoatlus. This was a genus of pterosaur that lived approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. It is one of the largest known flying animals that ever existed, with an estimated wingspan of up to 10 to 11 meters, or 33 to 36 feet, and a weight of up to 250 kilograms or 550 pounds. Quetzalcoatlus had a long, slender neck, a small head and a long pointed beak. Its body was supported by a pair of strong legs with sharp claws and it had a flap of skin at the end of its long tail which may have helped it to stabilize its flight. It is believed that Quetzalcoatlus was a skilled flyer able to travel long distances and soar at high altitudes. Number 7. The Aristonectes This is an extinct genus of Plesiosaur, a group of marine reptiles that lived during the Cretaceous period approximately 70 to 66 million years ago. Uh, its fossils have been found in South America, particularly in Argentina, where it is known from several nearly complete skeletons. Aristonectes was a relatively large plesiosaur, with a long neck and a short, robust body. It had four flippers, which it used to swim through the water fast, and a powerful tail that provided propulsion. This is the largest known plesiosaur as of now, with a length of over 10 meters or 33 feet. And number six, we have Sarcosuchus, also known as Supercroc, it was a prehistoric crocodilian that lived during the early Cretaceous period approximately 112 to 99 million years ago, one of the largest crocodilians that ever lived, with an estimated length of up to 12.5 meters or 41 feet and a weight of up to 8 tons. The Sarcosuchus had a long, broad snout with a powerful jaw capable of delivering a force up to 9 tons per square inch, which is more than twice that of a modern-day crocodile. Sarcosuchus lived in the river systems and coastal areas of what is now Africa and fed on fish, turtles and dinosaurs. At number 5 we have Deinosuchus, also known as Terra Crocodile. It was a giant crocodilian that lived during the late Cretaceous period approximately 82 to 73 million years ago. It was one of the largest crocodilians that ever lived, with an estimated length of up to 12 meters or 40 feet, and a weight of up to 8.5 tons. Deinosuchus had a massive armored head with large, sharp teeth that were designed to crush and tear apart its prey. Its jaws were so powerful that it could take down large dinosaurs and its bite force was estimated to be around 8 to 10 tons per square inch, making it one of the strongest biters of all time. Number 4. The Aegisuchus Also known as the shield crocodile, it was a genus of extinct crocodiliform that lived approximately 95 million years ago in what is now northern Africa. It is known for its unique skull morphology which had a large, flat shielded structure on the top of its head. The shield may have also helped it to regulate the temperature of the animal's brain. It was a relatively large crocodiliform with an estimated length of up to 12 meters or 40 feet and a weight of up to 10 tons. However, unlike Deinosuchus or Sarcosuchus, which were specialized predators, it had more of a generalized diet. At number 3, we have the Himaliasaurus. This is an extinct genus of ichthyosaur from the late Triassic Tibet. The type species Himaliasaurus tibetensis was described in 1972 on the basis of fragmentary remains, including teeth, limb bones and vertebrae. The entire body length of Himaliasaurus is estimated to be over 15 meters or 49 to 50 feet in length. The Himaliasaurus belongs to the family of Shastasauridae, which includes the large-bodied Triassic ichthyosaurs like the Shawnisaurus. 
And number two, the Mosasaurus. The Mosasaurus hoffmanni was a species of mosasaur, a squamate reptile, not a dinosaur. It is a type of large marine reptile that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 to 66 million years ago. It was one of the largest species of mosasaur, with an estimated length of up to 17 meters or 56 feet. The mosasaurus had a long streamlined body with four flippers and a long powerful tail. It had a large head with sharp teeth and could swim at high speeds to catch its prey, which likely included fish, squid and other marine reptiles. And we have the Shonisaurus. The Shonisaurus is an extinct genus of ichthyosaur that lived during the late Triassic period approximately 215 to 200 million years ago. It is one of the largest known ichthyosaurs along with Shastasaurus, with some individuals estimated to have reached lengths of up to 21 meters or 70 feet long. It had a long streamlined body with four flippers and a powerful tail that it uses to swim through the water. Its jaws were lined with numerous sharp teeth, but its snout was very narrow and long, suggesting that it fed on fish and other small marine animals. Shonisaurus along with Shastasaurus were one of the largest marine creatures to ever exist on Earth. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos here on this channel. Take care fam.